You probably heard already about the new AI code editor called Cursor. I decided to try it out today and I can say that it is much more than I expected. So I decided to share with you four actually useful things that you can use on your projects. This first feature is really important for me and if we go to their docs we can see that Cursor is a fork of VS Code. And that is really a great thing because first thought of downloading a new code editor for me was how am I going to survive with all of my code extensions and without my setup? And the answer to that question is really simple. You can just import your whole VS Code configuration and it looks now like this. I cannot even see the difference between Cursor and VS Code Studio. The only difference are these icons that are on top. And if you check Visual Studio Code, they are here in the sidebar. And the reason for that is because they moved it a little bit so you can use their AI, AI chat. As you can see, all of my extensions are here and even my VS Code pets, which are completely transferred so with my snake cat and rock for my textual games project so when i downloaded cursor in just one click i got my whole setup from vs code and i think that's really an important feature for all vs code users that are going now to the cursor ai code editor second feature is completion same like copilot so we can basically go here in our code and for example here we have fantasy characters, fantasy plots, etc. We can go and say something like all characters like this and it's going to give us here an array full of fantasy, sci-fi and dystopian and then it is serving us all stories, all items. So it is basically doing the monkey job. Uh, I'm not really very satisfied with this because I love to write my own maps, my own filters because I love to code these things with, with my hand so I don't forget it. I'm worried that in five years we are going to forget like all the array methods and all the simple things from JavaScript. But for monkey job and for some simple things that you just want to press tab and finish them, this completion is really good. And there is one more thing with completion that you can do and it's not the monkey job and that's actually writing dummy data. So here we have our sci-fi plots and if I press enter it's going to give me now a new plot and that's something that you cannot just think this fast obviously because it's giving us like 10 plots in one second and you can add bunch of dummy data like this. Also if you're testing you can put 10 users in one second and you, you don't have to write it down like user at example.com1, user at example.com2, etc. It's going to give you real looking users. So that's for me, that's really a great thing. And the third feature is really powerful and that's directly code editing inside of your code editor. So this one on genre change, it's not written very good. I just created quickly three if statements and if we mark that whole method and we click here on edit we can say refactor this function to be better let's just say it like that enter and it's now refactoring it and if we accept all of our changes we can see that it created a new object with keys of my enum that I have. And then it is just putting in all the arrays, fantasy characters, plots, items, etc. And in the end, it's just setting it by the key, which is picked here on genre change. So I can say that this is really much better code than I wrote it because uh, let's say I wrote it just in speed. So because I wanted this feature to be out, but I was not really thinking about it. And the truth is that this AI wrote better code than me. And fourth feature is also really useful, especially if you're new to the code base and you don't know what is happening around the project. And that's this cursor chat. You can open it by command L or control L if you're on Windows or Linux. 
and it's opening this whole chat window. So now here in this example, we can ask AI what is happening inside this function and it's going to answer to us and this is nothing special. We already seen this in ChatGPT. We can just copy paste the function and ChatGPT is going to answer us what is happening inside this function. But what is new here is that we can actually ask what is happening inside of our whole code base in our project. So I can, for example, go to my games router, this one, and I can check some API endpoint, let's say get all games, and I can ask here, where is get all games API endpoint used? And now I'm pressing the code base search, not the regular chat, and you can do it by command and enter. And we are going to get all the results where get all games is used. And not only that, but the description, how is it used? So we can see here that get all games API endpoint is used in the my games component. And here's the relevant code block. So we are getting the exact line. And this line shows that all TRPC games get all games use query hook is being used to fetch all games for the current user. And this is something that you would probably ask somebody on the project, hey, why is it here? And I'm new to this project. I'd like to know more about it. Please explain how is this working? And here you're basically getting your legacy coder from the project. And he is explaining to you directly what is happening on this page and where is get all games used and why was it written and how is it used and whatever question you have you can just follow up here this is really an awesome feature and i'm definitely going to test it out some more and those are all the four features that i think are really useful for developers and one just more thing to mention that ai code editor is not free so you have the pricing here you have two week trial. I'm currently on a two week trial. I'll see. I'll tell you all in two weeks if I'm going to pay it or not. So pro is $20 a month. Maybe it's a little bit too much. I'm not sure. You can tell me in the comments. What do you think? And there is also a dashboard. I don't know now where it is probably in the settings. Yeah, here it is. So this is my usage of premium models. You have only 500 for your two week trial. And I think that's more than enough for testing and for everything. And you can try it out and tell me what do you think. I hope I helped you out a little bit with this video. And if you want more content like this, join the mighty horde. Become a true web dev warrior.